I want it done as quickly as possible. I was asked on the weekend whether it's going to take months or weeks. I said I expect it in weeks. Surrey RCMP or Surrey Police Service. On Tuesday, BC's public safety minister said the province will decide which will stay by late May or early June before property tax notices are mailed to residents. My staff are doing everything they can, working with the city of Surrey, working with the RCMP and the Surrey Police Service to get the answers to the questions that they need so that we are able to make a decision that put it's public safety first in the city of Surrey. On Saturday, the city of Surrey released a draft five-year budget, which includes a property tax increase of 17.5% in 2023. It said more than half of that would cover the costs associated with the transition from the RCMP to the SPS. We are running short of time, and so we put a forward a budget that incorporated the wishes of council and the wishes of council and the electorate was to have the RCMP as a police of jurisdiction. If the province comes back with something else, we'll have to deal with that at that time. She maintains the Surrey Police Service would cost more than the RCMP. The SPS disputes the numbers used by the city and on Monday called for an independent audit of the city's costings. There is a real cost, regardless of the decision you make, either to continue with the transition or to untransition. And so what we think is happening is uh, a very broad spotlight is pointed at any of the SPS-related transition expenditures, but not enough light is being shone on the costs of undoing the transition. Locke was elected in October after running on a promise to halt the transition to a municipal police force, which was triggered by previous mayor Doug McCallum. The transition is well underway with hundreds of millions of dollars spent and hundreds of SPS officers hired. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.